Today, I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary 3D print and make it better. First off is magnets. Adding or embedding magnets can be a great way to enhance your prints. They can be used to assemble pieces together, hold lids closed, attach prints to fridges and metal surfaces, or you can even make things levitate with magnets. 2. Laser etching. This is a technique I haven't personally tried yet, but the results you can get look absolutely amazing. It involves using an infrared laser engraver that basically vaporizes the pigment out of your 3D prints, which leaves behind beautiful and durable markings like these patterns and letterings you see here. This is a great way to improve the perceived value of your prints, and all you need is a laser engraver. Three laser engraving. Similar to number two, laser engraving can be another great way to enhance your prints. I've been using mine to cut wood designs and I've added that wood to my 3D prints to give them a more premium feel, but it doesn't stop with just wood. You can cut acrylic, rock, cork, and glass as well, so the possibilities to enhance and make more money with your 3D prints are huge with a laser engraver. I wanted to thank Xtool for sending me this S1 to test out and experiment with so I could share my ideas with you guys. 4. Electronics. Adding electronics to your prints can take them from being just a piece of plastic to a fully functional product that people would love to pay for. Examples of this would be 3D printed lights, speakers, phone chargers, drones, guitars, hydroponic towers, and even a computer mouse. There are so many possibilities with this technique and this is definitely one to look into. 5. Threaded inserts. A very clean and professional way to add strong connection points to your 3D printed parts. Compared to 3D printing threads that only last for a short amount of time, threaded inserts give you a strong connection that you can tighten and undo multiple times without damaging it. Six multi-material prints. Combining materials can enhance the functionality, aesthetics, and overall performance of 3D printed parts, which also means you can charge more for them as well. This technique is relatively new to the 3D printing space, but it has a lot of potential. Check out this doorstep for instance. It's made from PLA, which is rigid, and TPU, which is soft a great combo for a doorstep. Seeing this made me want to make a phone case with PLA and TPU, but that will be for another time. Seven, plaster and molds. Now you may be like me and be familiar with the fact that you can use 3D prints as molds for other materials. However, you can also use the mold as part of the end product. I just learned about this from the YouTuber DIY Perks. He poured plaster into his 3D printed speaker to make it more solid so it would sound better. Pretty neat. And here's a bonus for sticking around to the end. Number eight, Electroplating. I'm not going to get into the technical side of how this works, but it's basically turning your plastic part into metal through electrolysis. This method is a bit involved for me, but if you're up for it, it can give you some awesome results. Just look at these examples here. It looks like they were actually 3D printed with metal. Pretty cool stuff. I would love to hear if you have any other ideas in the comments, and thank you for watching.